So a couple of weeks have passed since the uh, the last video out in the Orsid rape field. Um, it's fair to say there's a lot of crops out there that are struggling um, and my advice is be realistic. Um, as you can see on, on some of the some of the crops I've been in today, they to, to me there's just not enough crop there um, to combat the flea beetle, the slugs, and that's before we've even got to pigeons. Um, and then not forgetting black grass. We know a poor oilseed rape crop is the worst thing you can have for black grass control. Um, and you can undo years of good work with one poor oilseed rape crop. So, so the message is be realistic. However, there are a number of crops that have established really well. The one I'm in now, um, yes, it's relatively kind soil, um, but it has established well. With these crops, we need to maximize them. Um, so be realistic, but with these ones, let's maximize them. This crop now is big enough to start thinking about foliar nutrition. Um, the key micronutrients, boron, molybdenum, get some manganese in there, some magnesium to help keep that canopy just building into winter. Uh, and as we've said before, we want to maximize that, that color size to help with any larval infestation. Um, our recommendations not changed for these crops. Get in as soon as you can. Three litres a hectare, Yara Vita Brass Trail Pro. Keep that momentum going um, as we head through the autumn. Now, some of these earlier drill crops with big canopies, they will have a higher demand for nutrition. So again, get on now with that Brass Trail Pro. And then later on, when we come back with our Astro Curb, we can then tissue test. And if we want, we can then load some more nutrition in. And I'm thinking things like boron at that timing. Um, so key message is be realistic with the poor crops, but anything you've got that's good, let's now start treating it uh, well. Keep that momentum going as we head uh, towards harvest 2024. Be back soon.